compelled by the Irish story to send money. And then I eventually brought in that to think about engagement with humanitarianism and philanthropy more broadly. You know, I think as a, I'm the, the child of somebody who founded a nonprofit. And so I know how hard it is to raise money. And so it just seemed extraordinary to me that all of these people who had no personal connection to Ireland sent, often when they had very little money themselves, um, money across an ocean. Um, and also many of these people were not engaged philanthropically in other projects. So they were maybe engaged with their church or with like a local community, but they weren't sending money overseas to other groups either. And so I, I wanted to work to unpack sort of what was happening there, um, what it meant for our understanding of the Irish famine, but then also what it meant for our broader understanding of the history of philanthropy.